Hey yo guys, Hydrosimp here, welcome to episode 2 of Digging Deeper. I'm so so sorry, and yes I'm a massive idiot, but I had to start a new world because I lost the, uh, <laughs> the item shop. I threw it into the water and uh, I just couldn't get it back out, so I'm so sorry for that, but at least this time I've kind of got my bearings. I'm just going to go collect a few more blueprints and I'm actually going to get a shelter quicker this time so I don't be a massive idiot and throw away the uh, the item shop. Um, I feel uh, pardon me, like a massive dolt for um, for just throwing it in the water. That's, that's at least it made for funny, funny good entertainment. Uh, what counts for funny in the community I don't really know. I'm new to it. But with the other competition I'm assuming it's good for um funniness. Was, 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 right, what am I looking for? Hello. I think that's a llama. I may be wrong. I may be right. You never know. Wait, okay, what so where's this other blueprint? <gasps> Where is it? Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. Alright, there's one. Cake. Good. No more cake. Here's another blueprint. Pressure plate, cool. Can we break? Brew, brew, I'm gonna say, I'm saying brew print again. Can we break them off our hands? Yeah, good, I'll just use that instead of my pickaxe because it's wearing down the durability of the pickaxe for some reason. Do do do, alright. Uh, oh, there's another one. So, um, what we're gonna try and do in this series is, um, we're gonna try and get all the way to, to the second hell. Get the blueprint. We're gonna try and get all the blueprints, and uh, once we do, it will be great and it will be amazing. And you never know, you might see some other people joining me for this series. You never know, you never, never know. Maybe. Just, 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 just go away and see, don't you? You should be never know. Could be next episode, could be halfway through this. Never know, never know, never know. Could, could happen now. Could happen a second from now, could happen right now. Or it just couldn't happen at all. I could just be on my own the full time. Or maybe. Or maybe. <gasps> oh my god, okay. I think I should pay more attention. As I was saying, or maybe. Maybe. I won't be in the series. This series will be run by an intelligent computer being. Just kidding. Uh, right. How do. How to do, do this? Okay. Wait. Right, because someone said that you can um, do the triple jumpy thing. Oh no, no, it's not. You can jump over two blocks. My bad. You just got to know how to do it. Um. So we're currently using an Xbox controller to play, and we should be recording at 1080p, <coughs> 60 FPS. Which is a pretty good, uh, highest, I'm trying to make it the highest quality I possibly can for you guys. Uh, same with my mic quality, I'm currently using my Blue Snowball as opposed to my Turtle Beach headset that I've been using in the other videos. Because I want this series to be absolute, a new stand, like a new standard for total minor video, uh, video quality. Because I'm, I'm proud of my work, my edits, my schmed, so all that stuff. So, um, I don't know if anybody, as I said in the last episode, I don't know if anybody else is doing, um, a series on, um, Dig Deep, but they might, I don't know, it might kind of take the spotlight away from mine, which is uploaded every Monday and, um, every Monday and Friday, and that reminds me, happy Monday everyone, um, hope you're having a good, good Monday, I'm probably not. Right now I'm sitting in um, English most likely, just wanting to to, to die, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, you know, I'm not kidding about sitting in English, but uh, kind of about wanting to die. I, I love my English teacher, he's cool, he's got a big beard, big, big beard, big heart, what more could you want? He's a cool guy. Um, we're currently learning Macbeth, and today in English I was learning that, and it was, it was okay. I mean, Shakespearean English is a treasure, and it's for some reason regarded as one of the best uh pieces of literature uh literature and in the human history 
I don't really know why, because it's a lot of uns the thou see the art of my descent, all that stuff, like, stars, let, stars, hide your fires, let light not see my dark and deep desires, or something, that's one of them, that's the only cool thing that I've, oh, glass, that I've read in a, I've read in Macbeth, but, Macbeth has a first name as well, I, I don't even know if people are familiar with who Macbeth is, cause I don't know if it's just a Scottish slash English thing. But you know Shakespeare, the, the cool dude, um, or possibly several dudes, or girl, we never know, um, <clears throat> who wrote like some of the best plays in all of history. It's basically this king who becomes, who is approached by three witches and they say to him, you're gonna be king. Uh, and he's like this great warrior, he's dead high up, he's really high up in rank terms in the military. And these uh, three witches come to him and say, you're going to be uh, king. Or they give like a prophecy uh, and rhymes and stuff and he's like, uh, he doesn't believe them. And then he tells his wife and his wife's like, well it's obvious we've got to kill the king and then you can become king. And he doesn't want to do that but she's like, nah we'll do it. Let's just say, myths are closed to the spirit. Oh we got that one in the last episode. Um, he ba uh, She basically says, we need to murder the king so you can become king. And he's like, nah I don't want to do that. But then ends up doing it anyway, um, and his wife makes like a pact with Satan um, to become strong and stuff. Uh, what's this? Myth, how you put them in? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, and then he basically comes king after the king Duncan dies. And then he goes mad and insane with power. And then eventually he's killed at the end. Yeah, and like everyone he knew died as well. It's, it's kind of depressing and sad and a bit grim but it's really really kind of good I guess it's really simple it's a simple plot and stuff you might have seen the movie that had Michael Fassbender in it or the one from 1979 um with Ian McKellen Judy Dench and all of that in it they, they, there was like a 1979 TV movie uh really looked really low budget though but if you want to see a young Ian McKellen who uh, uh right now Ian McKellen is gay by the way uh kissing Judy Dench that was that was a big surprise, like, I was sitting in English, my friend Joanna looked over at me at the kissing scene, and I was just, I was, my mouth was wide open, not because they were kissing, but because, um, I was watching Ian McKellen, a man who is a homosexual kiss a girl, I was like, was he always, was, like, back then, was, did he, like, come out, or, like, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's, I guess we'll never know, well, I can look it up on the internet, uh, but after I've done this, you know, you know, you, you know. Also, what do you guys think of the intro song to the series? It's the, for the first episode we had the intro. <clears throat> for the second episode we had the outro. Um, what do you think of it? I quite like it. It's called My Silver Lining by... I can't remember who the band is, but it's a really good song. And I originally heard it uh, from Tales from the Borderlands. Um, and I really liked it. And I was like, you know what? This song is cool. I'm going to use it. Because it's such a good song. It's like... Um, it's really, it's, it's western, it's like a form of western music that was done by a Swedish band. And my friend John's like, yeah, it's, a we it's western music that's done better, that's done better than Americans can do westerns. Or no, than westerns can do western music. And I'm like, yeah, you've got a point there. And every time I, t I, re I remind of that, I'm reminded of um, Bo Burningham. You know, the guy who does the western, uh, and I does all the song parodies. Oh, uh, he's great, I love, I love Bo Burningham. A big pickup truck, and it does all. And it sings a song about like Western song cliches and all that, and it's really funny. But yeah, I, I guess you guys should go check out Bo Burningham. He does a lot of cool stuff. Like, um, one it's like one's about Jesus, and all, or one's about God, and like how he uh, he doesn't really. Why would a like an an all an all like omnipotent omnip omnipotent God? Why would he care about what you ate for lunch and? what you wore and stuff, it's like, it's, it makes fun of that stuff and it's great, and he's, he's really, he's really funny, but his humour's really strong and dark and twisted and stuff, so uh, it's not for the faint hearted, and talking about the faint hearted, let's get building a base, because it's turning night time, and we're at that 10 minute mark, so let's, um, let's try and build a base, <clears throat> so we can, um, get working, and we'll, have somewhere to actually hide in this time instead of last episode where I threw my um, shop in the war and um died well not died but um 
had a horrible, horrible... Uh, I don't know. I had to reset the world. <laughs> because uh, I lost the item shop. Like... I'll tell you what it was. Basically, um, it fell and I, I chucked it into the water when I was ch uh, by accident, and then it just wasn't in the water. It just disappeared. It just wasn't there anymore. And I was like, "Well, that's that's something." How do you craft? Okay, okay. Uh, boop. There we go. We have ten. Uh, I really hope Craig's watching this series, even just the first episode, would be cool. It means a lot to have his support on it and stuff. His feedback and all that. I wonder if he likes the intro. I'll pro this is this is past me. This is currently being recorded on the twentieth. Um so he probably has seen it and he's he's probably I don't know, he's probably gave me his feedback. But as of right now I don't know, I might have that little intro in the first episode at the start of every episode because I really like it and it's it's really cool. Um it's getting used in the outro as well. But uh, you know, but the, int the intro one I really liked doing, it was, it was cool. Right, I know what we can do. No, no, we I, we I can't be picky, I need to just get in a shelter, because I got absolutely done in by the mobs last night. You know what? You can crawl through one block holes in this game, that's what I love about it. Fine, no, we're going to do that just in case. Because I know there is really short mobs that can just run in and just mess your day up. Be a really general inconvenience. All right, so let's see what we can buy. Ores for uh, you to. Oh, pardon me. So we'll buy a chest. So how? Uh, if you're watching, um, if you're uh, watching uh, and you don't know much about Total Miner, basically, uh, and dig deep. Uh, you collect blue. You blue. Bro, God damn it. You collect blueprints, and you have a shop where you can buy blocks out of and stuff if you don't want to craft them. And that's like what I'm doing right now. I'm buying stuff. So yeah, I'm. I just bought a chest. You can buy an item shop. That would have been um. That would have been helpful to know. I'm just kidding. Uh, we'll buy some tor torches as well. Uh, so we can see. Boom! I can hear stuff going around outside. You know what, we'll make a, a little small hole, because I remember on the moon map, me and my friends used to um, do a kind of thing where we'd have, um, we had like a moon base, and we would like roleplay and stuff, like we'd wear the astronaut suits and we'd be like, ah, oh, um, put your suit on, uh, and use the airlock, and we'd be like, yeah, and we had these little tunnels as well, that would crawl through, going from like, uh, place to place, and it was really cool, and I miss those days. Now that uh, multiplayer's out, I can get my old friends who used to play on the Xbox on the PC to play with now. Don't think we'll ever be seeing the. Uh, oh, I can dig dirt. Can I? Oh, no, I can. Uh, I don't think we'll ever be seeing the moon map anytime soon, to be honest, because Craig would need to rewrite the entire like generation code. I feel like someone should just get one of the very first versions of the game, generate it port it up and then uh, just use like a map editor or mod or something to fix the sky and stuff. Yeah. So, we're nearing the end of this episode, we'll just wait until we hit it. You're not going to heaven. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm singing the song. You're, you're going to heaven probably, if you believe in it, if you be a good boy and girl. Good boy and girl, yeah. That's why I'm, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is now. Sorry. Uh, Each episode won't be exactly 15 minutes, it'll just be roughly. The first episode will probably be much longer than 15 minutes. Like 17 or something, because it has a little intro at the start. So, um, I don't know. I don't wanna wait anymore, I'm tired of looking for answers. Take me some place where there's music and there's laughter. Oh, my pickaxe ran out. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!